So Say like that I, shit again, so, bro. So like, so like I was saying, I don't understand why Boosie and Webby never decided to be a part of the education system. Because I will put my daughter on that YouTube channel right now. <laughs> so like I was saying, so, so boom, here you go. Tell me what you know about me. W-E-B-B-I. I mean. Wait, 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 wait. Stay with me. All right. Boosie verse on Wipe Me Down. So he go in, Wipe Me Down. B O O S I E B A D A Z Z. That's me. Never fucking lie, bro. Hold on. Hold on. How long you been holding? Hold on. How long you been holding? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. When you want to teach your kids how to do chores and kind of be at the house by themselves. You gonna play independent, right? I E N D E N. This dyslexic motherfucker. He's an I E before after C. But that's the point I was trying to make, though. I was like, I know this. Don't cut that. Don't cut that. Look, when he said it, I was like, I knew it was coming to that. I was like, but you see how easy it come to come to them. You right. You right. Boosie and Webby could have been on Sesame Street. That probably would have been the highest rated PBS show on the planet. But how you do your alphabet? I get a thousand dollars. You hear me? Hey, but he, you know, Boosie gonna to, come with a rider. He trying to do a show uh, now with chicks. I do not mean to sound old, but I'm just saying. All that sounds good until they start dropping some bitches and hoes in there. Now you get your kid. Confused. Not on Sesame Street. But I'm saying if Boosie and you know what I'm saying Webby was like, hey, we got this off his logic. I'm just saying. You gonna throw in some wild shit at that point? We watched pudding pop commercials in the they Cosby Show for with, years, with, with and we all good. And back. none of us fucking touching women and shit. You said none of us, bro. It's men out here touching women all over the place. Not because of Bill Cosby. Gee, just like um, Jeffrey. Can you imagine a nigga <laughs> saying that in court though? Like. <laughs> I, I did this shit to to this woman because of Bill Cosby. You remember how they used to get in Bill on Cosby Eminem? How his lyrics used to make me do sh- I went down this path because I watched the Cosby show. <laughs> because his barbecue sauce is just doing too much But that's what's happening, though. That's what's happening, though. You think Bill Cosby was out there doing it alone? He had to learn it from somebody. But we weren't getting that message through the dog. And the pudding pops. I learned. I learned how to be a family man. I learned how to you feel me? exactly how to be a dad. Uh huh. <laughs> what Bill Cosby was really teaching your ass was how to hide shit. <laughs> Let's how to live show, a double man. life. You hear me? Let's start the show. People on that goofy shit. I hate them. These people out here tweaking, bro. I hate them. If you ready for the show, say. I hate them. Say. I hate them. Say. I hate them. Hi, this is the I Ain't Going Show. I'm your host CJ here with my boy D. Yo, yo. Special guest host. Chris in yeah. the building from yeah. the Hitman podcast. Yeah. I must really care about y'all. I must really fuck with y'all. Yeah. So, Dude, man, to be man, dealing with this Atlanta all traffic. The way from the crib all the way to Atlanta, Gee. bro. I was like, this nigga actually flying here? I made, for the, pil- this? I made the Mecca pilgrimage. Yeah. Oh yeah. oh yeah, yeah. No, okay. I live Malcolm X. This nigga drove. Bro. First of all, first of bro, all, that's gonna, a hike. Throughout the episode, we're gonna talk about why I hate Atlanta anyway. Oh but, shit! But I mean, you really hey, not cool. getting away from cool. it between that's either cool. going into Hartsfield or driving down here. It's damn near the same journey, for real, for real. Cause the tra- why is the traffic so bad? Bro, I turned it. I turned into so a Dominican fast. taxi driver while I was on my way over here. Papi. <laughs> It's six lanes. I, I, I can't move. I don't understand. You in the fast lane. You're not moving. Poppy, what? Mama, mama, motherfucker. Move over. Jeez. All right, man. As usual, we are hey, here to debate, relate, berate, and be great. They didn't switch the shit up on me. On the, I hate fucking new. They do this shit when you're not looking. Man, it's all good, nigga. You, you actually running the whole system right here. Hey, you, you gotta, gotta be a sick ass. About that. Why, <laughs> Come on, man. While CJ, while CJ getting that together, you gotta be a sick ass nigga to be like, 
after you drink something. Oh, Imagine yeah. you the only one with some water around somebody. <laughs> you got kids. Did I do that into the mic? No, I just did it. Oh, shit. But I'm saying like, my wife did. get on me. Imagine you shit. outside in Vegas or something. <laughs> At a pool party, and somebody come up, and ain't nobody had no water, and somebody come past you, go. That's like the niggas the doing them commercial. videos in Walmart where they be moaning behind niggas' ears and shit. Like, bro, get the fuck away from me. Hey, I had to do this. I had to do this. I was at this, uh, like, UCI, this bike championship. Bro, I thought you said you had a UTI. No, I know. That's not, <laughs> I had to reword it. So I was at this, I was at this tournament <laughs> for, like, it's like the cycling championships. It's a European thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And one of my homies um, that, I, that I was working with, Tony, he got like real comedic timing, but he was saying like a lot of his jokes was real like off, like real, real vulgar. You <laughs> yeah, feel yeah, me? Yeah. So like he was talking in like German accents all the time because it was like German competitors. He's like, "Hi, today, today we're going to have a show with Hans and Heinz and Heisel." But he was like, "How do these chicks that ride these bikes like? How do they have a coochie at the end of the day?" Because they- canceled. <laughs> I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just take this drink. I'm gonna just take this drink. Uh, I found a drop, man. As usual, it's, it's homie time right now, okay? And before we get into it again, got a shout out. Stokes are back in this. Stokes are back in this. Premium cigars for the culture. Respect smoke some, smoke. bitch. Smoke some, bitch. You already know what time yeah. it is. Hey. They back. They reloaded. They got this shit back in stock. Hey, hit the I ain't going. We're going to have it across the ticker. Hit the I ain't going promo code. I ain't going promo code. Get you a little discount. Smoke some premium cigars. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and I uh, sh- want to shout out my boy T-Wigs again for the original garments. Thank you for the hat. We gonna get you one yeah, too, man. I know you're mad. I know you but hurt. I know you but hurt. I was about to say something. <laughs> you know I was about to say something. And hey, he gave you the death step <laughs> from across the club. <laughs> I don't like that shit. <laughs> I'm gonna drop a dime on that nigga. I don't like, like that shit. Forget. <laughs> All right, man. Well, you know we gotta start off, man. How y'all weeks been? Man, I feel like a brand new man. Oh, I was on the road. Okay, okay. I was on the road. I got to catch up on all my stories. <laughs> 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 nah, I, I finished Top Boy. Uh, I forgot they had did. You know American Crime Story, bro. They stopped filming the to Bill Clinton episode, joint, and I just put that in my queue and shit. They stopped yeah. filming it last year before uh, 2022 hit, and then yeah. they ended up releasing it. It's the whole Monica Lewinsky rundown, so I oh, knocked shit. that out. <laughs> Just was able to do some cleaning at the crib because I I've been on roll so much I ain't really had no time to myself so my yeah, week been yeah. super dope and then it gave me the opportunity to come down here and bang man, with the guys dude, you feel that me? shit worked out perfect man. it worked out well man. no way I ain't going on that you right? oh shit, shit. <laughs> oh oh well, and I ain't going drop this yeah. thanks to this guy oh off top please follow subscribe listen you're listening now but follow and subscribe. We everywhere podcasts live, Spotify, Google Podcasts, iTunes, Apple Podcasts, all that shit, man. Yeah. Soon to be I ain't going dot com. We getting our shit together. They my next door neighbors. They be knocking on my door. <laughs> yeah, shit. yeah. And of course, you have to listen to the Hitman podcast yeah. for all your sports shit. All your sports shit. We hit on the sports shit. This nigga know what he's talking about. Oh, he he know the sports. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He know the sports. I know what I'm talking about, son. <laughs> this nigga don't. But you know <laughs> I'm like, hey man, yeah. Ball going basket. <laughs> <laughs> Yvonne uh, make basket. <laughs> shit, no, nah, I know my sports though. Yeah, yeah, I, mean, yeah. I, I know I know how to hold my own and you shit know. at the smoke shop. The bulls, the smoke shop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the smoke shop. How your week was though, bro? Uh, my smoke? shit was good, man. I, I think I was I got my stride back this week. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't as busy and shit. At, okay, at the gig. So, okay, okay. You know, uh, I did. I, it was wild because I had an interview like for you know like one of the. You can't be trying to leave your job. Nah, no, no, not, the, not for uh, me. I'm sorry. I <laughs> oh, was okay. an interviewer. I did oh, the interview. game show. Yeah. So I, well, for, <laughs> for a position that I at a, at, at my gig and uh, she said something that stood out to me that I liked. I was just like, damn. You know, uh, you know. I think like this too. Waking up every day is a positive thing, right? So as long as you waking up every day, you got a chance to make some different changes. Like if yesterday was bad, hey, it's a new day to do something different and try some shit again or whatever. And you hit it with the wee bay like. <laughs> <laughs> like 
like so so and shit yeah. like that. So do you feel like you like Simon Cow on American Idol when y'all like judging their responses for like a group it's interview a or something? Ass nigga. Nah, man. I, I honestly, I give everybody that. Her job history that. sucks. She's not going to Hollywood. Oh, no, nah, like if her do- <laughs> if her job history sucks, you know, so or his job history sucks. I'm looking at it like, how did this get to me? Like, why am I talking? Y'all saw this before y'all got to me. Why are we? You know, what I'm saying whatever, but. Yeah, Hot sweat. It's all good, but it was a good week, man. I honestly, I, I'm looking forward to next week, and then we got some. Uh, hey, why are you <laughs> saying like that? Like it's Survivor or something. Hey, next hey, week, hey, next hey, week hey, is hey, the next week is the physical challenge. Next week, we're gonna see if she's really fit for the job. Right? It's gonna be some shit next week. You're going to Hollywood, but you probably ain't gonna make it after that. All right, man. I'm supposed to, you know, I'm saying head out to LA and then head up Tennessee. Oh, yeah. it's, a, it's a whole full week of just. Great, great shit, bro. So I'm looking forward to it. And Make, the birthday next week, you know what I'm saying? Or the fourth or the following week. But yeah, man. How old you going to be? Tell everybody. So you want to say I'm old all the fucking listen, time. Listen, man, I'm going to be, you know what I'm saying, halfway to 40. That's just how it look like that. Say your name, Reggie, huh? Halfway. Uh, between 30 and 40, I'm going to be 35. <laughs> You say your name Reggie, huh? <laughs> nigga, you look 30. Nigga, <laughs> 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 you look at least about 30. <laughs> but yeah, what about you? Man, my week been cool, man. I ain't gonna flex, man. I've been. Are you oh. getting some sleep, big dog, big folk? Oh, What's I'm up? Getting, I'm getting good sleep, bro. You they, didn't see this nigga start cheesing and stood up a little baby, bit when he was like, baby, man, I had a good week. The night. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shout out, Brave. Yeah, you're uh, a different person now, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I ain't got to do all that shit, even though my wife's doing most of it. But still, I got to wake up like, you want me to do something, even though, you know, I can't breastfeed. But, you know, you got to be there for hey. support. Hey, look, we got to at some point acknowledge the fact that that shit is a little stressful for both parents once the baby is out. You know what I'm saying? There's more stress on her, especially, you know. Okay, there you go. No, it definitely is. But I'm saying it is stress on both, man. You you can't not be going through anything either. My week been straight, man. I've been looking forward to this and shit. And it's happening. I'm happy as shit. So... Yeah, man, I really can't complain about nothing, man. I, yeah. I had a good week. I'm, I'm in my uh, Daryl bag this week, man. Oh, damn, nigga, he's a yeah, bro. <laughs> hey, it's a ghost in here. I got it on me. I got it's it a on ghost me. in here like, hey, CJ lying like a motherfucker. <laughs> I got it on like, me. This no. week been stressful, is it? <laughs> she was like, that nigga lying. He been breaking glasses and shit. Uh, Clothes ain't been washed in about two weeks. Hell no. <laughs> damn, man. I feel like you looking at my house. <laughs> For real. <laughs> Don't be the nah, nigga. Bro. Don't nah, be the nigga bro. that flip the draws inside out. Hey, right, it's a new side. So we were gonna draw. <laughs> you gotta be a sick ass you know, nigga. Sick like ass motherfucker. <laughs> well, inside out draws because you too lazy <laughs> you to wash your clothes. Hey. No, nah, but I told CJ like, all right, bro. We like we were supposed to do it virtual. I was gonna tap in with y'all like over Zoom, whatever. Yeah. You're the only nigga was gonna do that for. By the way. But then everybody else is like, no. But then, but then I, 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 I didn't try to trick you. (laughs) Yeah. But I, I, but it was, it was, it was too close because I had, I was telling him, but I didn't tell you. I was like, gee, I got some good news and some bad news. (laughs) The, the bad news is I can't. Why am I doing this voice? The bad news is. (laughs) <laughs> like it wasn't him. <laughs> the bad news is Kevin Hart do that shit a lot. He go into a voice like it ain't him. Oh my God. The bad news is I can't do the show virtual. Yeah. Good news is I can't do it virtual because I'm pulling up. <laughs> but I had I was going I wasn't gonna do it till today. You but I'm like your theatrics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what's up, but that's but I I I couldn't do it today because I was yeah. like shit. Daryl don't know. And if I come walking through the door, he's gonna be like. <laughs> nah, who that nigga on that nag? Nah, <laughs> nah, he would have been pissed. He was like, I hooked all this shit up. And this motherfucker ain't coming. He but was like, would have let mean, him do it though. He'd be like, I mean, maybe he got something going on, but still, he could have texted a nigga or something. He would have walked through the door. He'd be like, oh! And we wouldn't have started till like midnight. You got to be a sick ass <laughs> nigga to let him hook all this shit up <laughs> and then not oh, tell he was him. Gonna, I thought he was not going to tell both of us. No, I, I was going to oh, tell both okay, of y'all, okay, but okay. I didn't want to tell y'all today. Because then yeah. what if I get down here and y'all go, yeah, we canceled the record. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I would have told him. I was like, we got to come here early. And... We already did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have acted like I hooked the shit up. Oh, Anyways, yeah. man. Let's get into the show, <laughs> man. Black history in the making. We got some good shit this week, man. We're going to start off with some shit at the crib. Chicago mayor- mayoral candidate yeah. Willie yeah. Wilson giving away $1 million in free gas this week after initial giveaway last week. That's Fucking the up. city up, too, by the way. Hey. Fucking the city up. Niggas is 
running out of gas, waiting on gas. Yeah. But that's goofy as hell, though. Like, don't go over there on E when you know it's going to be a line and shit. <laughs> nah, I, I got to make it. I got to make it. I was talking about yeah. the line at the gas station off Stony looked like the line at I'm the sure. DMV, boy. Sure. <laughs> it looked like when... Uh, when you got to renew your place. Kenwoods, you know what I'm saying? Oh, oh, night. Oh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey. And then I seen a post today that... One of the gas stations was sending them off. They like, nah, shorty, you paying for your gas here? <laughs> she held the post up like, no, nah, this is one of the locations. He like, I, my, <laughs> I'm about to do the voice. I don't know no Willie Wilson. Sir. I know I we don't even sell gas here, no petrol. We don't got. You gotta go down the way. Down the way. They they actually have gone uh, as far as to allow people to uh, like pay on it, meaning that they can get a loan. Like yeah. it will like. That shit is free now, but you're going to have to come back. You know how many people are not going to pay that bill? After pay, right? <laughs> yeah. It's like Nobody. Something, it's like something like, you know, hey, it just tallies up. It just keeps your shit. You got gas. And, you know, people filling up with, like, full tanks and everything. Hell yeah. And they that ain't no, that ain't no that different than when we was in college, though. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> what the fuck you talking about? <laughs> what college? What? See, I, I went to, I went to you know, Columbia College, Chicago, bro. I ain't going What that mean? There. Ain't no gas stations are close to you, though. When yeah. I was in college, you know if yeah, I needed gas, you? I'm getting gas at the Moto Mart. At the, we used to call it Gas <laughs> Donald's because it's a McDonald's and a gas station. Oh, yeah. There's a school yeah. out there to where, like, you could pump and then yeah, pay pre-pay. later. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I never experienced that. I I'm ain't even know. They ain't had that. Yeah, you went to TSU. <laughs> yeah. What that's supposed to mean? Well, I'm just, I'm just saying, like, oh, okay, okay. They count, they inventory, every, they inventory and everything. How many green oh, yeah. lights during the day? How oh, many okay. leaves on the ground? No, we, I was. How many niggas in this section? Yeah, I was at a PW, I was at a PWI. They, you know, what I'm saying they let me slide. Oh, okay, okay. Hey, man. Shout out to you being the black man and surviving that shit. Hey, <laughs> winning. <laughs> I, I dropped just... some thug tears for sure. But no, but Willie Wilson doing this shit, bro. It's big for the city. But the biggest thing is, is big for that campaign because he's mm. putting his foot on light foot ass. You hear me? Oh, yeah. Remember when he ran the mm-hmm. uh, first time and niggas was looking at him like a joke? Like he had the yeah. ass and everything. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. like the LeVar Ball of politics. Billy really Wilson. Yeah. Oh, for him, for Every man. time I hear his name, I think of the dude, uh, the reporter that got the bug that flew in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, this flew in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> like that's what I don't know why that's what I picture when I whenever I hear his name and I know he don't look nothing like him. that nigga's a respectable he look like I know somebody granddaddy yeah I know I'm just saying just rich as his hell. name alone makes him feel corrupt but he being proactive though all I know same. and respect to yeah. all the same yeah. respect to him that's some shit like a super villain would do in a comic book anyway like when yeah. they they taking advantage of a crisis gas prices is out of control bro yeah, yeah. oh you mean Trump because Trump's like Luthor. <laughs> <laughs> the king pin, right? Hell yeah, I feel it. I feel it. He's somewhere in the lair right now, plotting his return. Yeah, yeah. He's gonna spend the block on y'all. He coming back. I got that getter shit. His uh, yeah. social media network. I be getting alerts like a motherfucker, bro. Get ready. He's ramping up. He's like suit up. Shit, and it's not even him. It's all his guys. Yep. They like Steve Bannon doing some shit. Some other motherfuckers I don't even know about. I have to Google him like. Oh, he's coming back. The crazy shit is, I used to get them same emails, but they spelled, they gave me a different name. It's like Brian. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be a sick ass nigga. Your, that's that's your be the name of this. Name. You, that's, that's, that's gonna be the name of this episode. You you gotta be a sick ass nigga <laughs> to email me some shit with the wrong uh, name on it. You know what it is. <laughs> but like that that for real though, that feels like some slave shit. It's like yo, guess? no, the the Brian oh. shit. I'm oh. gonna go back to this shit. Brian, 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 your Brian. Name is Brian. Brian. Listen, listen, Brian. What is your name? Listen, Brian. My, name. My name's Chris. Whatever, Brian. <laughs> Check it out, Brian. Don't listen, Brian. Big things happening. I don't know what's going on. Maybe your name's gonna be Chris. Maybe it's gonna be Brian. Oh, no, the the free gas shit is major though. Yeah, hell yeah. Hell Cause you yeah. imagine, what was her name? Keisha Keisha Bottoms, right? Keisha Lance Bottoms. Shout her out. Atlanta was just. In the summertime, the spaghetti yeah, junkie is probably OD, no yeah. right? So if she was offering free gas to y'all out here, she would probably be a lifetime mayor, no? She couldn't do that out here. It's different here than there because 
it's public transportation back in the crib in Chicago. Facts. Here, you got to drive to get everywhere. You have to, right? That million dollars would have been gone in like an hour. 30 you know? minutes, huh? Yeah. yeah. Er- everybody yeah, got to fucking drive. It, it, it's too many gas stations. You see all Niggas that traffic go to gas you complaining stations about? To get liquor. You see all that traffic you complaining about? Yeah, they all need gas. Yeah. <laughs> they all need gas. Right there, too. It would have been a lot of shoes here, too. <laughs> Over that free gas. Because everybody well, got down it. At the everybody Texaco. got it. Everybody <laughs> got it. Hey, it's the last 89. <laughs> we got to walk 10 paces, <laughs> turn around and shoot to the death. You hear me? Nah, it ain't even that. It's like the race to the trunk. Man. That give a new that give a new definition to the word gas man, though. Who's the gas man? You feel me? Gee, I feel like, hold on. Can I just say this? Because I know we got to move on to the next. But I just want to say, speaking of the Georgia drivers, bro. I mean, is everybody that fucking angry? If you from Chicago, New York, wherever, and y'all come down here, just know, we think we angry drivers up there. But down here, these motherfuckers be on your ass. You doing 80 in the express lane. You ain't going fast enough. I never would have thought that lights. I would have to stick up for Atlanta <laughs> drivers, but they don't have shootouts on the E-Way. Yes, they do. Yes, Not they do. like bro, at they, the crib. Yes, they've been having yes, they them. They've been having them. Yes, Not bro. like at the crib. Yes, They've been having shootouts at the crib since I was a teenager. Every day there's been either either uh expressway shooting or something like in the most public place. Oh Wait, yeah, the public are, places like, that, that shit, shit been going has on. been yes. going on. Bro, they do that here. Oh, Robin season is real. That's it's, a real thing. It's huh? Billy the it's Kid real. out here on the E Way. The highway ain't no joke out here. All yeah. I heard coming and over this traffic morning. here. So they have a shootout at standstill. Whereas in Chicago, Niggas at least chasing niggas and shooting. <laughs> you can say that shit. Here he comes. Here comes Speed Racer. He's a demon on wheels. Look at Hellcats. Like all of them. All PPP checks. G. Bro. Let's <laughs> move. Shout out Willie Wilson. $1,200 on the car note. <laughs> Some more uh, black history. <laughs> Oh shit! Anthony Mackie purchases twenty acres in New Orleans for production studio. Papa Doc, you heard? Papa why? Doc. It took me a minute to realize that nigga was Papa Doc. Hey, why couldn't it be forty? Forty acres. Why I gotta be? T- no, just fuck with you. Man, you, like you gotta be a sick ass. Right. And ain't, and ain't burning that nigga for that shit. Oh, you trying to do that shit? To we say why Tyler forty go. instead of twenty. Tyler <laughs> snuck in the bun. That's yeah. mean. Letting another nigga do it. Oh yeah, but bro. Like, that's big, and he's an Avenger. Shout yeah. out to Captain America. So he already yeah. Captain America. Yeah. But see, that's what I love about people that really take their craft and they think beyond their craft. You know what I'm saying? Like, when yeah. you see, like, athletes and uh, a- actors and actresses, like, actually say, hey, look, I'm good as hell in this, mm-hmm. but now I'm finna go, like, make my own money. I'm finna, uh, you know, when they get into, like, when actors get into the director role, now they're doing a different side of it. They're doing more things. I love to see that shit, bro, because it's just like, yo, like that's like black person, man or female. Yo, you doing your shit. Like that's like how to use your money. That's how to really like, you know what I'm saying? Does it make you want to take this to the next level so you could do something similar? <laughs> Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. I mean, like I'm I, like uh, Uncle Willie next Friday. As <laughs> <laughs> soon as I got my check, I was go. <laughs> then they gonna be Jeez. like, man, that's mad as a fucking cool. <laughs> <laughs> I was gone. <laughs> like, man, I did what I had to do. I'm just showing the youth. You know what I'm saying? What bro, I got to do. But yeah, that's bro. big for him. Yeah, that's good uh, shit. A couple more things I got in uh, Black History in the making. Push your T ass. Is robbing the ba, fucking ba, 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 ba. Yeah, bro. You getting baked. <laughs> yeah. Pusha T teamed up with Arby's and put out a McDonald's disc. Damn, that this shit was. Chick-fil-A, which is ass. Bro. And he also wrote the I'm loving it jingle. Yep. Bro. <laughs> hey, young nigga, get paid. Long Gee. lived off. Man. That shit is. First off, bro. When you got these two entities that are already enemies by nature, they're just like the the rivalry goes far back. I don't even know how. Cause I don't. What's when Arby's and McDonald's? Well, yeah. I'm sorry. I I feel like and this. I is, feel like it'd be Arby's and Wendy's, right? Yeah. 
Just off the just off the strength of the name. No, that's because McDonald's. Okay, they okay, stole okay, McDonald's okay, from right. the original McDonald's creators. McDonald's and Burger King's. Okay, I get that. Oh, that name was fat. And his wife. I feel like from a franchise, everybody's after McDonald's. You have a rivalry there, but like. Arby's is like Ukraine. No, no, we're not going to go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying Yo. from the size. From the size. And it's like America is McDonald's. And that's the one. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Or that, it's like if. So Arby's is That's like is America. Russia. Uh, Low key, Arby's is Russia. Because they own a uh, bunch try of fucking our restaurants. Try sandwich. Nah. Make bro, sure you get the they barbecue smaller, beef bro. brisket. Like they, let me <laughs> let me show you. I feel shit, like they bro. small. Damn the damn. Twerking. McDonald's yeah. would be Russia, yeah. right? Yeah, damn, damn. technically, but I don't want to say. I thought McDonald's would be America. Yeah, it is. That's why I was gonna say it's like America is attacking Ukraine from the size standpoint. You get what I'm saying? Nah, bro. You don't think they attack the? You don't think McDonald's is attacking Russia? You think they're attacking the Ukraine? I'm saying that's let what me, it's like. Let me tell you that's how what, Arby's that's is if Russia. America was to attack Ukraine, that's the size difference. Let me show you the nukes that Arby's got. <laughs> the nukes. Arby's the owns nukes. <laughs> Baskin Robbins, Buffalo Wild Wings, Dunkin' Donuts, and Jimmy John's, and Sonic. This is Arby's? Arby's owns all of those. God yeah. damn. Shit. That's why they Russia. Oh, they Russia. <laughs> they, so they like, they they like Q- nukes. They yeah. like QC. They're Russia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They like they QC. They got everybody. Yeah. They Russia. Okay, I get you. I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. That was but they I sure didn't I, know cause that. Because I, I fucking like ate at uh, Arby's probably like twice, three times in my whole entire family. Exactly. Yeah, That's I why I thought they was, always, I, they was always a rundown restaurant that you can't pass. But who by. always go eat there? Who they say go eat there? I thought it was a drug front for years. Be the drug, really? it's the drug food. It's the motherfuckers that be at the Greyhound <laughs> oh, station shit. off that <laughs> shit. They go to Arby's to fill up. I was always told to stay away from Arby's for real. Nah, uh, the couple times I went to Arby's, like when I don't know if that's Ving Rain, talking about they got the meats. Ving Rain, it is there, though. Up there, they're like, we got eighteen pieces of bacon and fifteen pieces of roast beef. I'm like, you know what? On the road trip, <laughs> like yo ass, like it's an Arby's, right? Oh, I remember yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they lights ain't never on yeah. on their sign or either. That's what I'm saying. Nah, it always ever. look run down. The shit it, always <laughs> look like the opening scene from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah, it looked like what used to be. Like it was well, like, yeah. like one of those towns where like, like everything was shut down. <laughs> they got the broken glass up front. <laughs> like is it zombies in this bitch? Like it just looks creepy. But then you go in there and, or go around and the drive through got cars and shit in it's there. It's nukes. I just don't. Nah, I don't get it, bro. What well, they got again? They got Baskin Robbins, Dunkin' Donuts. They winning with just that. Buffalo Wild Wings, Sonic, Jimmy John's. And McDonald's still the powerhouse, though. <laughs> they got nukes. <laughs> McDonald's owns. No, way more they than kind of China at this point. I mean, LeBron, the man. I mean, LeBron, the man. LeBron is the man, but Steph Curry got you feel me? Steph yeah. Clay X Y and Z. Like, yeah, Arby's I mean, kind of hit though. Yeah, Arby's kind of team, ain't they, it? They got they got a whip. They got a whip. Damn, Arby's, Arby's can hold his own. It can go to any team. Like, and bro, still be coffee able to hold alone. His own. Coffee alone on Dunkin' Donuts. They can hold their own. They don't need to be taken out. And by Arby's other... low key, they incorporate all races. Because when you think about it, who, the 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 Indian American folks be working at Dunkin' Donuts. You got the casual white folks at <laughs> Buffalo. The NASCAR fans at Buffalo Wild Wings. You got your trailer park trash bags at Arby's. What else you said they had? Baskin Robbins. They got the kids on yeah, Smash. Yeah. The single mom, not and the they single mom, the soccer mom's dude. on smash. Mom, Arby's got the meats, pause. You heard? Damn, Arby's might be it, though. <laughs> they China. So are we fucked up? Because we just not getting no game? I might be game? old. I, maybe I'm fucked up because I got Once bad Once they get checkers, it's over with. I got bad experiences. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I'm fucked up. Let's just talk about that. Ross is going to be uh, eating Rubens on Motivation Mondays, right? <laughs> oh, shit. But yeah, man, shout out to right. Pusha T for uh, playing both sides of the fence effectively, man, yeah. and playing a long game and shit. That's love, bro. And I got one more thing, one more thing in uh, Black History in the making. Jay Prince's uh, <laughs> Grammy hey, boycott. Yeah. Hey, listen here, man. We uh, we not doing that no <laughs> more, man. We not. He, hey, he go. He definitely He the daddy no that never yelled. He just yeah. walked past yeah, your yeah, door. Yeah. He, he walked past your door when your TV too loud. I'm and you a know. Yeah. yeah. And you just know to turn yeah, that like, shit down. Shit. Yeah, you right. <laughs> you right. We gonna do that. I am with you. <laughs> <laughs> like shit. All right. All right.
Bear with me. I got a lot of reading to do. Oh, here we go. Nah, good. I am at that. Nah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that boy said, spell independent. I E D I O. A E I O. And the niggas P is a P in them. Couldn't read. Can fight the best. Shout the Floyd. All right, Jay Prince, uh, Grammy boycott, Nikki Drake, and The Weeknd and Kanye. How do we go about change? I recommend that the artists that I mentioned above and more come together in Las Vegas and perform at the same time as the Grammys on a special network and a streaming platform to prove that the ratings will change where the Grammys are as concerned number one selling genre in music. Hip hop come together, he said. Because there's power in numbers, the powers that be will be mad at me for one, but fuck them. I love the culture. The seed has been planted. So for somebody, first off, to still be that passionate about hip hop, yeah, J Prince ain't never laid a verse down. Ain't never. But he's been at the forefront Rap a lot of records, right? Rap a lot. Mm. But he's been at the forefront of management for hip hop. Yeah. Since he's come into doing anything professionally. Ain't never laid a verse, ain't never been in a video on a track or nothing like that. That's serious, bro. Yeah. yeah. That's powerful. You yeah. talked about black history at the start of the show. This damn near should be up there with that. Yep. That's why I say the best for last. But do y'all know about what he's talking about as far as uh, the disrespect from Nicki, Kanye, The Weeknd, yeah. Yeah. Drake? Yeah. yeah. For those who don't know, Kanye has been recently banned from the Grammys, and they got a petition going out to ban him from Coachella. Like, Even though he it. probably got potentially album of the year. He should have album of the year, and they not going to give it to him because of the shit he's been doing outside of that. However, white counterparts do whatever the fuck they want to do. Justin Bieber says nigga. They give him all type of accolades and shit. The weekend. He said nigga? He, he, he said you has. About it. You a, he's on I YouTube hear? harmonizing, nigga. Yeah, he was younger, I, but it happened. Oh shit! I mean, I, back I, when I he was fucking really a little twisting up, a fan of his anyway. But damn, yeah. And so <laughs> they're doing all that shit. The weekend was in character for a whole for fucking a year. year. Yeah. For Bloody years. nose, all that. Yeah. I know that prosthetic was stanking yes. on his motherfucking upper lip. Nigga. Yeah. Like, nigga, I've been bleeding for about six months. Yeah. Mixed with the coke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they shit on him. Yeah. Didn't nominate him at all because he chose the Super Bowl. The Super they Bowl. say you either got to do the Super Bowl or the Grammys. He was like, nigga, are you fucking crazy? I'm doing the Super Bowl. That's my own stage. And there's way more people gonna watch his song was the song like the song of the year like yeah. blinding that's, lights that's yeah. that's gonna be somebody's soundtrack to their life like this got or me they through wedding. this got me through 2021. You said that's a wedding song. I'm pretty sure it's in a bunch of weddings. <laughs> of course, <laughs> oh, of okay. course. I don't want to say whose wedding it were. You say who wedding it was? They was in there. I feel you. Say right. their name. <laughs> <laughs> they were there. Yeah, bro, that's just foul, and I think. Realistically, we have some blame as well because we continue to give attention to the Grammys. We yeah. continue, even if it's on the minimal standpoint, we continue to lord the Grammys as like the Vince Lombardi trophy, the Larry O'Brien trophy. Like yeah. this is this is the standard bearer. Yeah. Instead of leaning into BT the BT Awards, Awards, yeah. Soul, Train Awards. Source, Soul Train Awards, the Source Awards in the past. NCAA. Uh, I'm sorry. NAACP. <laughs> <laughs> or even just creating something new. When you think about it on a lower on a lower scale, yeah. I'm gonna get canceled for this. I'm sorry. Um, you ain't going. <laughs> I can't tell you. Remixing Bella. Remixing. Remixing any of the old school. They talking about remixing uh Living Single right now and yeah. productions to do Living Single. I hope Please Queen Latifah and them are like. I don't know. Uh, We're gonna see. Like an old, like an old head or something, like an OG or something like that. One of them got to be involved in that. Yeah, yeah. Well, as they a, as can't an EP. play the same role. They got to. Oh, okay. As an EP. Uh, okay. But point yeah. I'm trying to make okay. is okay. instead of making in old, instead show, of making yeah. a new age classic, we going back and remixing songs. Yeah. Taking samples yeah. from songs. Yeah. Remixing. Old school shows. Yeah. You feel me? Like That's what hip hop built off of. It is. It is. It's predicated off of that. 
taking from this genre, that genre, and changing it, manipulating it to make it be our sound. But when it comes to the standard bearer, we're doing this all, not us, but these artists are doing it all in hopes of getting a Grammy nomination. Why? Yeah. We already remixed the art form as it is. Why yeah. not remix what the standard yeah. is? You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. We could easily make the Moon Man or the BET Award or now the Source Award like Z, or the Double bro. XL Award. Like we got Gen enough Z. platforms now. The Shade Room Awards. I was thinking about this shit Ooh. all the way up. Yeah. Yeah. Jason, Jason, <laughs> bro. Let's take take hey, a meeting with me. A power lunch or something. I would watch that. Yeah. The, look, look, kind of award check me out. Besides yeah. BET check me out. The Instagrammies. The sliding in the DMEs, you feel me? Yeah. The TikTokers. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. That. Uh, I, got, I, I think yo, they got that. I be here all week, you feel me? They, I, I, think I, I be here all week. Uh, I think they got an award show for influencers. No, but, but what I'm saying is in regards to, so if we're really lording hip-hop, hip-hop's the number one yeah. music genre on the planet. Yeah. In the galaxy, in the universe, you feel me? In the multiverse, whatever. Yeah. Oh, Why man. is the Grammy for best rap album, sometimes not even televised? Yeah. yeah. Not even, like, the nominations are not even all the way brought up. Yeah. But if we lorded the BET performances, we was big on who going to be in the cypher this year. Yep. Who going to have a performance this year. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. yeah. It's a Viacom yeah. property, but if we create our own shit, Tyler Perry got studios now. He talked about Mackie. He just got his yeah. own joint. Puff is always trying to innovate with Revolt. A lot of the stuff that we are influenced now by now, whether it's I Am Athlete, Drink Champs, Joe Budden, whoever, Million Dollars Worth of Game. Yeah. Podcast is the new radio. Yeah. If I want to yeah. break an album, I'm going to come and play my record on your show. Uh, you can Whole definitely have an award show, too, on like podcasts. And Why shit. can't like, I do an award like show and had a podcast? So 85 South just did BET not too long ago. I yeah, thought. yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the shit that we want to see. Everybody was happy as hell. It was like, oh, 85 South hosting it. We know it's going to be lit. We know it's going to be funny. It's going to be for us. Yeah. And then the cypher at the same yeah. time. We live for the cypher. Word. That's the yeah. best part of the show. Oh, it is. But uh, real quick, I want to touch on the fact before we get too far away from it, but you mentioned Diddy, right? So I'm thinking about you know, everything with, uh, what, that's going on with Diddy surrounding like the Mace. band and all that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking like when you mentioned Revo, right, there's a level of support that we want to give Diddy because of uh, his success, black man doing his thing. But when you hear all that stuff about what's going on with the band and not paying his artists, and it's probably like one artist that actually came out and said, yeah, no, nah, that nigga, you know what I'm saying? I got paid. I had a, you know what I'm saying? Who said that? Chopper? No, nah, it wasn't even part of the, the, uh, the band. Chopper broke off and did it was, his own uh, thing and turned artists. into Young City. I see yeah, but none of, the, none of the band did. They had... Um, no, Chopper did. He did. He changed his name. He rebranded like two chains. Dude. Yeah. Uh, but... What's your point? Most of his artists are not saying that they got paid well, right? There's yeah. a lot. No, I'm just saying there, okay, that's the allegations ahead. right now. Most right. of his artists, like if you have a catalog of X artists and 80%, 70%, 60% are saying, yo, I didn't get paid what I, I had a shitty contract. When you think of Revolt and you think of all the shows and all the things that you want to be able to bring to him, like, does he still have that same mentality for it? So not to, again, we're not going to get too deep in the woods with it. Outside of Big, Puff, I mean, outside of Big, Mary J. They said Big was broke. But outside of Big, Mary J, Faith, and maybe like. Mary J was never on Bad Boy. No, no, but she was she was affiliated with him. Oh, yeah. She, she produced on uh, Uptown. Yeah, Boy. she was on yeah, Uptown yeah. With, with, with L.A. Well, I'm, what I'm saying is, not L.A., Andre, 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 Andre excuse right. me, excuse me. Yeah. What I'm saying is, outside of Mary, Faith, Big, none of those artists were able to stand on their own without Puff. True. They needed Puff Once Rub. Well. True. So, if so facto, if I'm Puff, like, I love you, I, I want to give you a platform, but at the same time... You got to do something with it. And if you don't, and if the only time you buzzing is when the rub is coming from me, yep. that costs money. That rub costs money, you feel yeah. me? Like... You're I still got to work on my niggas got classic albums on yeah. Bad Boy, and yeah. they do that shit. And, and they ain't had no follow up. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that it was I, Loon. I, it was Loon that said he had money. No. It wasn't nobody in the band. Yeah. It was Loon. It was Loon. But I'm saying though, <laughs> <laughs> I would have never guessed it. Right. <laughs> I just remember. But I'm not saying that it's like you know wrong for the way he approached it all the way. He, it's he's not a business. He's a businessman, so. It works for what? Hey, if I spent this money on you, you got to be able to pay this back. I'm a so I can like survive. This. 
so I can be able, and then you can get some money. I just thought about this. My wife would probably be mad about this. It's like, uh, don't say it. No, I'm saying just, <laughs> I know you are. <laughs> you ever seen a nigga and you see his baby mama, you'd be like, damn, how you, how the fuck you get her? Like the nigga fucking. <laughs> The nigga put in the work, got her. She didn't know what she had and who she was and all that. Got pregnant by this nigga. Now she got a baby by Gotcha, bitch. Oh, oh, shit. Gotcha, bitch. You right. You right. You right. <laughs> and now she like, damn, I'm way better than this nigga. But, but. Damn, that's a whole nother episode, bro. You can go, go off into that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Damn. And it is your fault for not reading the contract. Yep. And oh, no. You read it. You did get preyed upon. You got preyed upon. But you didn't Bro. read the contract or know what the contract said. Back then. And it was wow. They doing it now. Meg is talking shit. 12500 is what each of them got paid for making the band. And I'm pretty sure. And they and so, said it in them yeah. interviews. Like, so I, like I, then, I thought I was going to do... Make it more afterwards, yeah. but it's like no, nigga. That ain't no different than Love and Hip Hop, though. A lot of them were saying in the early beginning they was getting fifteen hundred episodes. Yeah, I know people that worked on that show. But who got out of there? Cardi B. Cardi, yeah, her yeah. her aim was never TV though. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't her aim? Oh, when at least, she at was least a in guest. that in that in that regard, she don't make no music now, and she's still getting <laughs> money. She doesn't have to. She don't have, she don't have to. You feel me? If she and if she, she wanted to go back, make TV shows, I'm really good. And if she wanted self? to go back to make TV, she could. I'm really good. Self, hey, self, what, what bad is, as hell. So, hey, we can't get you in the Gwyneth Fest. <laughs> winning, winning game, winning, winning, winning game, Lynn. way back yeah. machine. She's doing better than the nigga too. Damn, <laughs> y'all in here time traveling. <laughs> I forgot all about that. Uh, winning game, winning yes. fest, yes, winning fest. fest. Yo. I want to go. Shout out to the. I want to see who they got that creep squad. <laughs> Do y'all even watch the Grammys anymore though? No, Do y'all no, watch? I, I, no. I stopped watching. Do y'all care who wins? Don't, don't you don't check out the performances. No, 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 I, 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 I listen to see if my artist, you know, what I'm saying that I was rooting. for. I want to see who got robbed. That's yeah. all I'm going to see. If he yeah. won or she won, I'm like, okay, yeah, they got them album of the year. Other than that, I ain't watch. I ain't even BT my awards, uh, BT Hip Hop Awards, Soul Train, and Soul Train Awards because Tisha and uh, Pam, damn, Tashina. <laughs> B-B-B. I love when they host it. Right? <laughs> I love when they host it. All right, yeah. man, let's get into so this. Real quick, real quick right. though. So number one, so number one, damn, you just fucked me up. When they talk about the the Pam and Tommy show, it's all Tommy Lee and Pam Anderson. Did you see the? It fucks me up because I never think I think Pam and Tommy from Martin. Did you see that they coming out with a movie about that shit, like how they did a uh, Bel Air, and they're gonna do a uh, Pam and Tommy of Pam and Tommy. Tommy Lee, right? No, nigga. Oh, uh, Pam, Pam Pamela James, Pamela Tommy James, Strong. James, Tommy I didn't see Strong. that. Wow. I got to see you the link. I got to see you the link. Wow. So I'm, I'm trying to think. How? It's supposed to come out this summer. Send me that shit. Mm. ASAP. Yeah. 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 What I was, what I was going to say about the Grammys was I stopped watching after Macklemore won over Good yeah. Kid, Mad oh. City. Yeah. I've been done. <laughs> yeah. You feel me? Like, I don't even give a... Hey, I don't even know I what it is. I respect that because I, I feel like that happened to me too. I feel like that's probably when I was just like, nah... This shit don't nah, matter. This shit don't even make nah. sense no more. <laughs> like, I'm not even watching it. I don't even know when the announcements... I don't even know when it is. You feel me? No. And I'm really big on that because I'm big in the movie, so I want to know when the Oscars are coming out, when the SAGs are coming out. Because I do give more fuck about an Oscar, but I still don't watch it. I don't watch it, no, nah, but but you watch the movies the that day, are submitted. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I watch the movies. But Malcolm Moore, like, And the next no, day, I look to see who won. No Word. offense to him. Like... No, you got catch big music. Records, you got like, good stuff. Bro, like it sounds good, but he knew also that that wasn't supposed to happen. He said <laughs> it. He did, and at the same time, it was just like, yo, like, so what do y'all? What does the judge room look like for y'all? Like, what is really going on in there? Friends. That that's wild, man. But yeah, how good. many of us? Have <laughs> I don't even like Houdini. <laughs> All right, man. Let's get into uh, sports, man. NFL free agency going crazy. <laughs> What y'all looking at? What y'all looking at? Oh, I see uh, Go 10 on the phone. Nigga. That's how we coming. Gee. Let us find out you're a big nerd. 
<laughs> Damn, you watch my highlight tape. I'm trying to be the theme king. I'm trying to be the theme king for Halloween oh, and like show, all that type of. That. We was gonna do that this year. We was gonna do the sayings this year for Halloween because we did uh, Day Day Roach and Pinky for Christmas, and I got so, the man. I got the shirts from um, next Friday. Yeah, but we was gonna do that. Shirt. But I I wasn't in shape to do the the Dragon Ball outfit yet. Hey, Me neither. That's why I've been holding though. it off. <laughs> I was Incredibles, man. For yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was I was, I was walking around there like this, and she had my chain out and everything. Smoking like, the black. <laughs> hey, you gotta be a sick ass nigga <laughs> to combine a black and mild with a Disney hey, Pixar hey, film. Hey, come on, hey. get back here. <laughs> hey, stop running over there. <laughs> Stop what's, your, over there. what's your superpower? <laughs> you yell at the top of your lungs. Yeah, I got my. I pull. I pull that belt off swift like a. My... Hey, you know who would have been? <laughs> you know who would have been an OD parent? Freddy Krueger. Call his kids a bitch. No, <laughs> no. Like I could discipline you in your sleep. Like even when you think wow. you're getting away from me, even when I tell you to go to your room, I'm still Bro, terrorizing your ass. That nigga's raising Columbine kids. <laughs> <Jeez. laughs> Torture them. I can't sleep. take it no more. My dad. He just stays in my head, and when I sleep, I just can't get him out. <laughs> he in my head right now while I'm talking to you. I gotta watch the way I talk. You better not say shit, bitch. <laughs> All right, man. NFL free agency. In the words of uh, our guest host Chris, going galactic. Oh my god. These niggas is like NBA. They get NBA contracts bro, now. Bro. Yeah. Bag lady. About time, you right? gonna hurt your back. <laughs> making all this cash like. I should have stayed you know, with so football, I, I, for. Hey, you just gonna harmonize though right quick, though? Who is the bag man? I ain't, I ain't These niggas get $300 million. <laughs> so you know how many, how much money the owners is getting. That's why they can't have no black owners. Shit. Oh, yeah. Loan denied. Republicans <laughs> by Jordans too. Anyways, Tyree Hill trade. Yeah. This nigga, they took Pat Mahomes' best weapon away. That's personal. It's something we don't know about it. When you do something like that, that's a seismic shift. Like five he the bag, first though, and second and they, draft. They couldn't pay him. Like it, he's the first round. I thought. No, I'm saying. No, no, no he wasn't. Oh, he wasn't. Then they get that for. Oh, they got five. They got five picks. big dog saying. picks. That's five. what I'm saying. Five big dog five. picks. See, I've been doing my homework. One, two, three, four, five. I know. I'm, what I you say you was at? What you say you was at holding your arm? <laughs> what you say you at the cigar bar? <laughs> holding, yeah. holding his arm. At the cigar lounge, you know what I'm saying? Like. He come in and Ryan Clark it up for a second. Ryan yeah, I'm up in there like, hey, yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> All right, They're doing good Hill this got, year. He got <laughs> traded away to the Miami Dolphins from the uh, anybody under a rock from uh, Kansas City Chiefs for five draft picks. Yeah. 2022 yeah. first, second, fourth, <laughs> and a 2023 fourth and sixth. And, and... This nigga got a four-year, $120 million extension, $72 million guaranteed. With cheese, you hear me? With cheese. Extra cheese on the side. Ooh. Tua gonna be... If Tua Jeez. can overthrow Tyreek Hill... <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> I feel like Tyreek... And then he got all of that guarantee. I feel like he was like, yo, Kodak gotta perform every halftime. We yeah. gotta be on yeah, on go mode. To, for me to go <laughs> to Miami, Miami ain't been close to nothing successful in thirty years. In, what? Yeah. In thirty years, man. What? Nigga. But it's Miami though. It's Miami. It's Miami. It's, uh, he got a Super Steve Bowl. Steve Davis South Beach. Like you said, he got a Super Bowl. He got the numbers. Oh, he gonna have. Oh, it's time to get paid now. Who he, out there? He gonna have his own hotel. Pull out. <laughs> That's all, be, up, that's all up in there. You gotta that's be a all, sick they ass. They all there for him. <laughs> you gotta be a sick ass nigga to lead Patrick Mahomes to want to go to Miami, who ain't had no success in thirty. Who said you want to? He already to. got his fucking yeah. They wouldn't pay him. What you gonna do, bro? You said won't. To. After Devontae Adams just broke the market, I know you are gonna get to it. Is he a sick ass nigga for leaving Aaron Rodgers? No, <laughs> but what I'm saying is Tyreek Devontae sick Adams said I want to be the highest paid receiver in the league. Okay, and, and, and the narrative, all right. We're going to make you the highest paid for two days. <laughs> two whole days, you can say that. And then Tyreek Hill going to come behind you and say, I want to make 37 cent more than Devontae Adams. And? What difference do it make? Like, it ain't, like, nigga, I'm going to give you 37 cent in my pocket. Devontae Adams doesn't have a Super Bowl, right? I don't know if they was on that 2010 team. He wasn't. I don't think he was. He don't get it. 
That's why you get 37 cents more. I feel it. <laughs> I feel it. But these two receivers, obviously we're talking about Devontae Adams went to the Raiders. Went to the Raiders. For the so for the super bag as well. I think he's the high we are talking about he's the highest paid receiver in the league. Going back with Derek Carr, who he played college ball with. Roommates. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um the bullshit that was going on in Green Bay with Aaron Rodgers. They fleecing it. They wrecking shop up there, by the way. Yeah. yeah. That shit is damn near the ting done. The ting dead it, bro. Yeah. No more peas, no more foods. <laughs> Get me? Um, I don't think Tyreek Hill or <laughs> Tay Adams can really Fuck say they're better than one another. They, they're the same thing. They're, they're, they're both tiers. dynamic. They're tiers. They're on the same tier as uh, DeAndre Hopkins and Cooper Cup. Oh, I knew you was going to say it. That's why I said it. <laughs> I knew you was gonna say that. So y'all bang with Cup? Y'all bang with Cup though? Are you first off, are you not going? Who ain't going on what? Question. Cause he ain't. He ain't. ain't That's what I said. I don't wanna be a vacuum. I don't wanna be a vacuum on the show. So this is my thing though. Nigga, shut up. And y'all y'all can take me. So this is the thing though, bro. I I fuck with Cooper Cup. Mm -hmm. But Cooper Cup. Had to make a lot of adjustments. They lost. They lost this receiver, that receiver. Odie came in, got hurt in the Super Bowl. He still held it down, right? Yeah. Could he do that if he wasn't on the Rams, though? That nigga had Jared Goff throwing at him, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he was still going to the Pro Bowl. I'm not saying I'm not a believer, but it's just it's on some like. Oh, is this the Larry Bird argument? <laughs> Oh shit! Do I sound like it is. I sound like Isaiah Thomas? <laughs> you sound like Dennis Rodman. Am I, am I fucking up right now? That was Doug Williams, right? With Jamie Foxx. I'm your kind. Now, give it up for Doug Christie. <laughs> is Devontae Adams better than the Cooper Cup in your mind? I feel like he is. I, I he be did, he he had tears. a reckless ass quarterback it's in tears. Aaron Rodgers. It's tears. A reckless is ass. Is Matthew Stafford better Aaron than Aaron Rodgers? Rodgers? No. Yeah. Circumstances make receivers. That nigga had Megatron for ten years. So this is the thing, though. I was I was, talking, I, was I was listening to something earlier, and they was like, "Take like Derek Fisher. Derek Fisher is a five time champ, same as Kobe. You can't take that away from him. But he, he was, was a, to, but he was on the Knicks. He was on the Jazz. He was on one other team. I can't remember what it was. But this is not a Deion Brandt situation, bro. It just didn't work because that wasn't the right fit. The fit was for him was. Playing on the Lakers, being in the Lakers system. Cooper Cup is in the Rams system. He's a great receiver. He's an all-time receiver. But would you rather have, in a game for your life, in a game for your daughter's life, would you rather have Devontae Adams or Cooper Cup? Well, yeah, Devontae Adams. That's because <laughs> he's <I'm> black. But, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm just saying, like, for the bag that, for the bag, for the bag that, Ty, for the bag that Tyreek Hill got, Tyreek Hill got a ring. Devontae Adams got a bigger bag, don't got a ring. Cooper Cup just got a ring. Then they had Aaron Rodgers his whole career. Exactly. So it's not one argument don't Cooper make Cup the entire had Jared argument. Goff for his whole career. But what I'm saying this is, year. But what I'm saying is one argument negates the next one. So right when I think I got a good point on you, you have a good point on me. Right when you think you got a good point on me, I got a good point That's on you. So can we can we just at least belong. can we at least just hit the you don't know how to answer sway? You right, you right. Because both right. of y'all. Let's talk about this money, though. It ain't even about the performances, because football is in the state. And we kind of we're in a really swing. like unusual space right now, mm -hmm. where we villainizing Calvin Ridley for betting on FanDuel, and he gets suspended for a season. He's an all-time receiver. Don't say but me. I'm not. I'm with you. We on we on the same page. <laughs> yeah. But what I don't I'm, give a fuck about that. But what I'm saying is, in a world where performance is starting to influence revenue. Mm -hmm. I'm betting on somebody else's should. performance. Well, how do you dictate or quantify performance? If Tay Adams got the biggest bag as a top receiver, mm -hmm. but he don't got a ring, why doesn't Cooper Cup get the same bag? Because they talking about right now, yeah. Odell is a priority for re-signing. If I'm Cooper Cup, I'm like, shit. But Cooper Cup already got the bag. So? <laughs> So the fuck what? We just we spent the whole ha first half of the show talking about gas prices. I live in LA. So what the fuck? What? I got a ring. What? 
I got the all time. No, let me chill. Let me chill. Let me chill. Let me chill. Bro, let me chill. Bro, relax. Relax. Hit him. Hit him. All I'm saying. All I'm saying is all of that stuff is cyclical. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. This is the most money we've ever seen for anybody. And I'm not sure you can go down the list right now and talk about bro. Von Miller got fucking crazy money, crazy bread. Uh, yeah. The 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 AFC is the AFC West. Yes. They it's, have the best quarterback. They got the best division. Mm. You got to think about it, bro. If you put it, if you put together all pro team, just all pro team from that division, which quarterback you going? You pick your quarterback. Mahomes. Mahomes, Justin Wilson. Herbert, Derek, Derek Carr. I give it to you in order. Uh, uh, it's goddamn, uh, Mahomes, goddamn, Russell, Russell Wilson. Wilson, Herbert. Pick your Carr. pick your tight ends: Travis Kelsey, Darren Waller. Um, pick your receivers. You got Mike Williams. You got how dare you put Mike Williams over Devontae <laughs> Adams? After you just I'm not saying about... I'm, I'm just saying, oh, okay. I'm saying you can go either way with it. Okay. You go anyway. You got Tay Adams. You got Hunter Renfro. You got this one. You got that Hunter one. Hunter Renfro on the Raiders. Yeah, what? These are big reasons they got in in the situation. He's decent. Now let's talk about defense. All pros: Joey Bosa, Khalil Mack, Derwin James. Uh, uh, Frank was it Frank Clark from Kansas City? Not J.C. Jackson. Uh, what's the nigga? What's no, my, it was J.C. Jackson? What's my man's? What, what's my man's on the Raiders? Chandler Jones just went to the Raiders yeah. from the Cardinals. He led the league in sacks last year before, for for a while. But all that shit spread around. Everybody Max, ain't Max, got it. Max from the Raiders. Like, bro, this shit is crazy now, and they passing all that money out. You know who's gonna benefit the most from this shit? Fucking Buffalo. Cause while y'all beating the fuck up out, while y'all beating each other up over there, Josh Allen going motherfucking Vince McMahon walk his ass into the <laughs> AFC Championship. Oh, 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 so you just getting rid of the Patriots? Who? Who? <laughs> Who? <laughs> Who? What? Who? What? <laughs> I was on the roll. He interrupted yeah. me with that one. You feel me? Yeah. Buffalo going to Vince McMahon. Buffalo going to Conor McGregor walk their ass into the <laughs> AFC Championship. You hear me? And everybody else just going to blow the bag. See, this is the thing why I can't, why I ain't going right now. Injured. Because I watch that part, <laughs> that part. And the NFL has the most parried out of any league. Any league. Baseball's next. I know. We don't even want to talk about we them contracts. Do that. We don't do that. We don't do that. I don't want to talk about that shit. But God damn. <laughs> you couldn't have told nobody at the beginning of the season last year that the Bengals was going to be in the fucking championship. Uh, no, no, nigga. You ain't uh, never. You get, ain't never. Gary Owen. The Remember? Uh, <laughs> I like Joe Shiesty. I like no, Joe Ice. Joe Shiesty. He has small hands. He just came off an ACL tear. Oh, Jamar. He Jamar, hands. he can't see the ball in preseason. He's dropping passes. They made it, though. You ain't see that shit happening. <laughs> I, I wasn't surprised. The only thing I don't, I don't, think I don't like about them is uh, I've been on this lying. boy ass. Where is that at? So I've been on this boy ass for like two years. This, Police. Uh, pause. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Adenergy. <laughs> He's the guard for them. He's the one that got... When Joe Burrow got the ACL industry, okay. injury, he's the one that let it happen, cause he he misses assignment, he misses assignment like was sleepwalking. Like, like rem remember the Titans let them in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. And then Sunshine had to come in, cause cause dude let Rev get hit. Yeah. And then Zed Washington had the whole court on his ass. But yeah, Adenergy <laughs> Adenergy was on some like thinking about fucking dinner, thinking about baseball instead of thinking about his assignment. And he got that nigga killed, man. Mike Evans got a joke about. Uh, Jesse Jackson getting Martin Luther King shot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. That was a. Uh, I thought it was Martin. It was like stop chasing hoes, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> he said it was on the back. He's like, I get the King. <laughs> but all jokes aside, bro, this money is crazy. But I think it's it a, it's a, it's, it's deserved. It's, it's deserved. deserved yeah. But it's also and it, it's also attributed to the viewership. How interesting how captivating football has been over the past two years and the influx yeah. that sports betting has put into it. I'm, there are, I know women, I'm talking about elderly women that don't give a fuck about football yeah, or playing football and they into what they draft yeah. kings looking like. It's better than going to the boat? Possibly. <laughs> I, used to, I used to hate running across the, uh, 
the, the women that pretend they know football and they oh. just want to talk to you about football. You be like the mm. worst. Yeah, and I think the Green Bay Vikings <laughs> is a really good team. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I love that Brett Luck. I yeah, love that. Yeah, I, I love that like Aaron. Uh, like, I love that Aaron like, Mahomes. You feel me? Like, Aaron Mahomes. <laughs> like, like, he, right. Hey, he bounced that ball three times and got a touchdown. You feel me? I was just waiting on him to get a home run right, and score a goal. Trade. A field another goal. Trade. We got to talk about this just because we're here in, in Atlanta. Matt Ryan got traded to the Indianapolis Colts. And they that, celebrating. Yeah. The Atlanta fans, happy as hell for a third round pick. Darius Leonard, linebacker for the Colts. Is NFL the MVP. <laughs> a third round pick. And half a tank of gas, you hear me? <laughs> That's damn the fair trade nowadays. <laughs> half a tank of gas in a pickup truck. You heard? <laughs> but uh, Darius Leonard, star linebacker, is in the process of recruiting Julio Jones there. Don't know if it's going to happen or not. But um, they want to celebrate this shit. But I guess they like trying to get the first round pick because Marcus Mariota is the starting quarterback. Who? And right. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know enough football to know that. Yeah, you, ain't, you, ain't, you, ain't, you ain't. You don't need to know this nigga. Shit. Y'all Falcons playing? Uh, Falcons fans? Since y'all transplants from the shop? Are you, nah, don't don't nah. fucking. No 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 no! no I'm, I'm I'm being nah. for real. I'm ass. I'm I, I, nah, don't nah. don't shoot. Sorry, bro. We don't just shoot, get yeah. this answer this question a lot, and it's it's y'all upsetting. Converted? Nah, we not converting. Nah, yeah, I, yeah. I know I'm not. I, I'm no, from Chicago no. till I die. You I try know what to now. I try to wear my Chicago hats everywhere I go. So y'all not ice trade game at all? No, but see, I appreciate him as a player. But see, yeah, I was gonna say like what I fuck with the Rose. What I've learned about like living here, bro, and it's like I'm gonna rep my shit because this is my shit. But I will. I'm living here. If they win, like I went to the Braves for real. I put I went my to the money in this. I, I buy land here. I put money. I will give back to the community. I do all that shit, bro. Let's go. Yeah, I will support being in. Georgia, Atlanta, wherever, you know what I'm saying? Because mm. I live here, and I respect the teams here. I'm not just buying the, the, the shirt and the hat. <laughs> no. You know what I'm saying? Ah, 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 ah. Because they don't match. Because, you know what I'm saying? They don't, don't, they don't, don't, don't do match these off-whites and shit. You know what I'm saying? That like, nigga no. Shaq be, ah, ah, ah. Police! Help! Police! Help! CJ, you big as hell, man. Pause. Help! Don't you think that you should have just stuck with football or something? Police! You see this money they're giving out? Yeah, he goes away. <laughs> cut that I shit off. Cut off. <laughs> I'm thinking the outside. Like, Goddamn. I, I played football in high school shit, and I got scholarship offers and all that shit. But when I went this nigga through, just like, I ain't saying it, but fuck that shit, man. Bro, sure I couldn't get hit. That shit won't for me, bro. What all you got to do and what all you going to do when you get here? Like, I pee on time. And this bum I got to eat, city. right? And I can't like, eat chicken wings, all motherfuckers. It was either this bum-ass city or in Chicago, which which bum ass city? Be be specific. No, I, no, I said or <laughs> Chicago. Oh, the bum ass city. Somewhere you got, in Iowa. Somewhere. I'm about Iowa. to say you got listeners in this bum ass city. That's why you ain't want to do it. <laughs> no, no, I really don't remember. It was somewhere in Iowa, but it was just like it was either that or stay at the crib, and I didn't want to stay at the crib. All right. So I just chose to go in debt. And it just <laughs> 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 Knowing what you know now, though, like you ain't even got to be a player. You could have been an agent that brokered that deal. You feel what I'm saying? No, I wouldn't have played football. Like knowing what I know now, I would have gone back to when I first started. And bro, you work four months out the year. No, you don't, nigga. What you mean? Football is a sixteen week season. Seventeen now. No, nigga, that is at best eight months. Yeah. You gotta so, get back in shape, it. nigga. Yeah. I mean, if you a, if you are athlete, finish, you always even just getting high no, and no, drinking get the and fuck all this shit. What, bro? You who? Yeah. In high school? Yeah. What else did you do? What you mean? Like what other sport? I played football and ran track. Okay, so well, you shut your know. ass up. That's why you're serious. Okay, so because did you play in college? Real quick, like real brief. See, that's what the fuck I'm talking about. What? Why are you coming to me? You already no. Know I'm not take... coming at you. I'm I'm not coming at you. I'm I saying know you're not, I'm but... saying for the sake of the conversation, <laughs> the money that's being given out now is the more the most money we've ever seen. Bro, but not to be retired football, now, nigga. Not, yeah. I know. <laughs> what I'm happening. saying is, you wouldn't have necessarily had to have been an active player in the league, CTE. but you could have. Yeah, all that shit, bro. <laughs> 
I hoop. I did track. <laughs> Nigga, I, I could have been a kicker. No, no I could have been a kicker. I could have been Vinatieri getting forty. Oh, a kicker. you heard? And they land on your head. Oh, like, and they laying out, flopping out. Oh, 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 hold on. Oh, and you win to get the respect you deserve. No, fuck that. Don't nobody get fucked. You know what that. type of respect I'm looking for? <laughs> we just talking about Boosie and Webby. R e s p e c t i n d e. I'd have been a Marque King and shit. Man, fuck out of here. This money is O D, bro. O D. I mean, shout out it's to good. <laughs> this money's crazy. It's good. Von Miller's on the it's back end of his career. He got two, damn it, three hundred million dollars, bro. Yeah. But at the same time, I would not have been Von Miller. You would have been in the. I'd 70, have been a nigga seventy six mil. I'd have been like, hey, this nigga <laughs> deserves to be in the league, but we could cut him for salary cap, practice team. By my, by the time I was twenty five, you could have been in like you could have been a nigga like Udonis Haslam, who don't never see the floor and get paid not not hundreds of thousands, I'm talking I millions you, of dollars. I don't want you to disrespect to Udonis sit course, Haslam. I'm not disrespecting <laughs> him. He did a lot for his team, and I would have Bro, not done <laughs> Udonis Haslam. As as Udonis, Udonis Haslam, Haslam ain't never scored, ain't never averaged ten points a game. But he's hit some. And, he's done some clutch shit. Dog, it matter. Stop. You couldn't do the same clutch shit, get somebody an elbow, you ain't coming here no more. And get paid four million? I'd have been a dirty player, because I was. <laughs> I'd be a dirty player for four million. Y'all got me. Yeah. You'd have been a dirty player for four million, right? I'd put a nigga through a, what a I'm table to tell for four you million. Is the type of player that I was, I, get hit? I would not have been. <laughs> what you mean? You wouldn't have known about me unless I was Grayson Allen of football. That's, that, ain't that Udonis Haslam? Is that not Udonis Haslam? He probably taller than you. You still getting money? Yeah, he ain't, he ain't no probably. Yeah. And nigga is taller than me. What I'm saying is, bro, like, the money that's being given out to these athletes in the new age because of all of the advertising dollars, all of the sports betting, all of the different ways that they can kind of ingratiate themselves with the sports industry, you're not seeing that in the arts. You're not seeing that in, uh, in sciences. You're not seeing that in really business outside of anything that's digital. Okay. Like everybody's in the NFTs, everybody's in the crypto, everybody's in the stock market. Mm -hmm. The money we're seeing here in the sports industry is exponentially. We just got out the record business. Who got a two hundred sixty million dollar contract? Drake ain't got that. Hov ain't got that. They they have more. <laughs> Who? 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 How long did it take him to get it though? Von Miller got two sixty for five years. A week ago. How long did it take to get hold two hundred sixty million? And Hov. Going to take you and your daughter through their lifetime. His set, he got soundtracks to your life. You're going to play music that's generational for her. We need to Who drop. the fuck going to remember Von Miller 40, 40 years from now? We need a drop for Chris. All is going to be pa, 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 I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. When people be talking about like. Know some bitch. Like sports is like, oh, it's on the. Bro, sports and music are the universal languages of the world. Everybody understands sports. Everybody understand music and instrumentation. Yeah, yeah. You might have a different language. You might have a different dialect, a different culture. Everybody know soccer. Everybody know basketball. Everybody know music. Your music might be different than mine. Mine might be different than yours. But everybody know what music feel like. Music ain't getting money like this. At least the performers are not. The Here, executives here's are. Here's I'm going to yeah. rebut what you're saying. Because not only do I have injuries from then, I got injuries since then from just trying to play recreationally <laughs> <laughs> and quality of life yeah, yeah. you're talking about if I could do it all over again yeah. I'd have been on some uh, Andrew Luck shit I've been like, thinking like about him going for the, past the path few that months. you're talking about yeah. I'd have been on some Andrew Luck shit and tried to be Rich Paul I am, I am meaning to make this long winded I was just saying like if you had a five year plan for yourself and your five-year plan as a professional athlete ended last year, and then you see this money being given out this year, you be pissed. Yeah. You be fucking pissed, bro. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, especially I was those, trying to give you a compliment. Especially I appreciate those that it, went. You did start off with that. This nigga big as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Pause. Yo! <laughs> Yo! No, but that's true, man. Go ahead. We... All right. Notable transactions, Allen Robinson to the Rams. Bullshit. <laughs> oh man, you get the Buddhist man. Where it goes? Bull. <laughs> and they're trying to move the Bears to Arlington Heights, bro. Yeah. That's ass, yeah. bro. That's yeah. ass. They're trying to make a point, though. 
We don't give a fuck about we y'all don't. fans. We don't give a damn about y'all. And we, we sold it. And we sold out three years in a row yeah. and had three losing seasons. And y'all yeah. still came and packed that bitch out. Yeah. But all our fans that have money live by O'Hare. And don't forget to buy this bill for $18, you <laughs> stupid motherfucker. Yeah, and man. $60, $75 for parking while you're at it. Like I ain't get drunk for And enjoy that three hours traffic getting back home, too. Cool. Make sure you come back next week when we playing the Detroit Lions, 12 p.m. be here. But the hotels around there will probably get some money. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> the hotel's around there. <laughs> All right. Khalil, Max, and the Charles. We talked about that. Emil, I mean, Emil. Amari Cooper to the Browns. Juju Smith Schuster to the Chiefs. Which, if Patrick Mahomes can't make this nigga look good, because I've been over this motherfucker on some fantasy football shit. I was just finna ask you. I don't like it. I don't like it. Y'all A lot like- of receivers you just named off, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Amari Cooper, Deshaun Watson, that's going to fucking work, bro. We ain't talking about that. We ain't talking about that. Allen Robinson yeah. being number two, he's going to get his fucking catches and touches. Cup, on shit. old dog, <laughs> Allen Robinson. Bro, fuck out of here. And you said uh, Bob Miller to the Bills earlier. Stafford got $160 million. You knew he was going to get that shit off top. This was he wild. He just won a Super Bowl. Yeah. This was wild. This was wild, though. He won more He won more playoff games the first year with the Rams, including winning the Super Bowl, than his first nine years with Detroit. He won one playoff game. He played one playoff. Only thing they won. He played one playoff game in Detroit in nine years. His first year with the Rams, he played four games and won a Super Bowl. Whose fault is that? <laughs> I want to say it's his. It's his, right? It got to be. His. It's his. It gotta be. Way go. It wasn't Jim Caldwell <laughs> fault. It wasn't Jim Caldwell fault. And he had one of the best receivers of all time, too. This nigga got into the fucking ain't won a playoff game, got to the Hall of Fame. I got a little beef on that. That's some T Max shit with me. Anyways, we're gonna keep going. Oh, no, 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 no. we gonna keep going. I feel, I feel. Off moving. mic. NBA, NBA, pause. NBA, uh, <laughs> I don't know why I said that. <laughs> Going NBA, Paul's happy again. LeBron, I know, I know. <laughs> LeBron passed Carmelo for second place all-time regular season NBA scoring list. Don't, don't air horn that. <laughs> don't air horn that? I'm gonna, keep going. I'm going to let you finish, Taylor. <laughs> wow. Keep okay, going. okay. They lost that game, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> anywho, anywho. <laughs> passed 36,928 points, has over 10,000 assists and rebounds. Kareem has the record for 38,387 points. The Lakers, at this point, which you put in this shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I yeah man. Yeah, man. You put this shit in here. Yeah, Lakers man. Lakers 30 and 41. Yeah, this man. Season. Crip Bayless, you heard? Kobe upset. Kobe <laughs> mad. <laughs> Nigga, so Kobe <laughs> mad. Nigga, so. <laughs> After he finished crossing over Jesus, like, did you see this shit? <laughs> where does where does LeBron get his jersey retired? What makes the most sense? What was the question? Cleveland. Where does LeBron get his statue? Where does he get his jersey retired? Cleveland. This is gonna piss you off, but he's gonna have like three. I feel like Cleveland. He's gonna have three statues. Or Miami. You think he's done enough in LA to do that? He's gonna have three statues. I don't think he done enough in LA to get that. LA people different, bro. He broke records. Bro, I don't give a fuck LA. about no, 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 that. No, 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 we, no, we, we don't give a fuck. Those records are self-achievement. I don't give a fuck about <laughs> that shit. But they did it here. Not, here. But they're not. Because you know they're saying like, they're oh, not. he's a blah, blah, blah Laker that did this. No, no, so no, no, the no, motherfucking no. cocksucking play. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. You ain't got us close. You ain't made it entertaining. You ain't. He won a championship. Second year. I'm just saying. Bro, a Tournament. Come on, bro. <laughs> he won an invitational. It you heard was me? inside of a bubble. You heard me? They couldn't leave that court. <laughs> the whole stop. Three I'm to four so months. glad that I'm not the only nigga. That, I lost two hundred dollars on that. That boy won a I tournament, a dog. Yeah. That LeBron would never win another championship. That's not a chance. That bubble shit happened. I was like, wow. I have to cash after this nigga two hundred dollars. And I was like, don't talk to me for two weeks. You should have. You should have sent him a hundred. And was like, yeah, he won a ton- tournament championship. Nah, Niggas had a lot on their mind. I stole off him. Becoming number two all time <laughs> is dope. Carl Malone wasn't like I lit hate Carl Malone at number two <laughs> as a person. I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. I know where it come from. But when he got them points, he was like on the Lakers at that point. 
You feel me? But he ain't got no motherfucking statue out there at LA Live. He shouldn't have no statue. He's, what he's, you mean? He's a dead be dead. <laughs> but he was number two while we talking about LeBron, right? Yeah. And he did it in well, the LeBron's Lakers jersey, a great right? Great guy. But he did in the Lakers jersey. Great guy. Great guy. Great guy. Great locker room Love guy. <laughs> First one in, last one to leave. I was I would say Fisher. And we ain't gonna talk about like he's some like random white dude on the bench. Nah. I, 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 I would say Fisher's a great guy too, but didn't he have some trouble back then? Like didn't All he right, run his little fucking man old work? <laughs> Gee. The feud is the feat is incredible. The problem is it's the intention. Y'all not even y'all ain't gotta win a record. They yeah. don't. And so your focus changes from we need to it's not just about so when you get to the postseason, it's not just about being in the postseason. There's a reason why LeBron is going for the scoring title. For sure. It's 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 to keep him relevant in the conversation right now. Yeah. But my thing is when you get into the postseason, you have to think about the extra revenue that's being generated for the arena, for the people that work the park the parking lot, the people that work the concessions. The people that when the season is over with, their job is over with. So the yeah. postseason means that just as much to them as it does to the fan base, as it does to your ego in terms of being a player trying to bring a championship to that so team. So let me try to do my best version of Greeny that I can. So with LeBron doing all this stuff with him uh, trying to be the GOAT. Got the school. Second, got the, everything, everything off the court yeah. and on the court. You know, we all think that he's like a secondary GM and he brings in the people that he wants and the people that he needs to have to win and all that shit. Right. And they're not performing right now. So whose fault is this? Because LeBron is getting his numbers. He's still, he's more than 27, 5 and 5. I think he leads the league right now. Yeah, so I think he just passed him. Oh, beat. seven to seven. I'm sorry, I don't want to disrespect him because he always got twenty some seven to seven. Right. So whose fault is this? It's I mean, not Vogels. I mean, the chemistry Let's take just Vogel ain't out. there. The chemistry just ain't there, and the chemistry they thought that would be there just never showed up, and that's the thing where is it Anthony Street calls Davis? It's all of that because if you think about it, everybody there was people or analysts when this whole super team building strategy came into play, they all said, hey, you know what? This shit going to burst. This shit ain't going to sustain. Y'all not going to be able to keep doing this because there's a, a such thing as real chemistry Word. that motherfuckers got to bring to the bring to the table. I know I'm a Chicago nigga, so I'm going to always bring up Chicago shit. But like with Derrick Rose, you know what I'm saying? He had the team, the right team with the right type of chemistry to get them as far as they got. Okay. He didn't have the power that LeBron has. He doesn't, but mm. I'm just saying. No, no, chemistry. no, no, no. He couldn't pick his team. If he when, went, Mello, when Mello was supposed to come and he ended up re-signing with the Knicks, they quoted D-Rose, and D-Rose said, I wasn't, I'm wasn't. i not in a position to be recruiting nobody to come to our team. So what he basically saying was, I have that power, but I'm not going to exercise that. You either want to bang with us or you don't. If yeah. you're not banging with us, I cool. I thought he was I saying that, like, man, I ain't sucking no nigga dick. Like, if you want to come over here, that's cool, but, like, I'm not finna call you. And that's fair, because back then, that's that's his M.O., right? He was a guy that, like, yo, I'm just playing basketball. This is what I'm good at. I just won the MVP. Like, you see what's going yeah, on. Yeah, I'm I ain't good. Gotta like, I don't need to run out there. Them niggas, what was that uh, year, the All-Star game? All them niggas came out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this nigga standing there. They made a meme out of it. <laughs> this nigga just standing there, just being, you know what I'm saying? Ass niggas. Like, yo, like, I'm not with this shit. I think it's Anthony Davis. Um, I wouldn't put the blame on LeBron like that. You think it's just Anthony Davis? Yes, it's just I think Anthony it's the biggest. Davis. I think it's the biggest. I asked this question on my show. Yes, it's just yeah. I, think I asked this question on my show because the perfect counter for someone saying it's LeBron's fault is Brooklyn. Brooklyn had James Harden, mm. Kyrie Irving, Kevin Durant, and they played a total of 16 games together on the court and didn't make it out the second round against Milwaukee. A year later, <laughs> a year later, you feel me? Yeah. Like, we in a whole different situation. So, LeBron could easily be say, see. LeBron could easily say, see. Y'all niggas thought it was easy to just plug and play the yeah. best talent. It ain't as easy it's as not. it might seem. It ain't just, oh, a super team could just be bought. I'm going to just bring all the best players, yeah. and we just going to wreck shop. No, bro. No. There's a certain level of gel in the chemistry that has to happen. 
in order for this thing to come together. And it has to be like off your bench. Like, yo, yo, backup got that. Yo, you know what I'm saying? Backup. They got to buy in as well, right? And then, too, because like, well, when you buy this super team, you brought them all over here, they all starting. Three of them get injured out six months on and off. Now it's Vogel <laughs> fault. Now we need to you make a move. Like, now we it, need to make some like, changes. You know, like, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. I didn't pick these niggas. Yeah, you like, feel that me? shit right there. Like you got to think about it's there. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I think it's Anthony Davis though because he's the the rudder. You feel me? That was the who like the LeBron beat his chest there. for the most. Like I need yeah. him. Yeah. In order to make this happen, and he was like, I don't want to come over here, but you know my knees fucked up. Would y'all agree that that was kind of like? The Giannis, you know what I'm saying? You Giannis took it personal. What's the Giannis? No, I'm saying, like, he was, like, what I felt like was going to be the head of the NBA. You said that Giannis is going to be head Oh, NBA. Anthony Davis? Yeah. But oh, Anthony Davis to I me did. is, like, you know what I'm saying, what Giannis is becoming and, like, kind of surpassing. But he has way more skill than Giannis. He does. Yeah, he's a more polished player. He does. But he spent a whole season before he went to the Lakers. If you put Giannis Hart and Anthony Davis, that nigga be fucking crazy. He, he went the whole season before he went to the Lakers running around talking about there's no reason in the world y'all shouldn't be talking about me as an MVP candidate. And by the end of the year, he had checked out of the team. So it's like, bro, yeah. we talk about all the time like when we compare Bron to Jordan. The difference, one of the biggest stark differences is Jordan never said, I'm the best. No. He, yeah. Other people said it so much, we lose sight of the fact that he, <laughs> he never, never said it. verbally said it. Because there were so many other people that were doing it. LeBron was like, was okay. in a press conference, like, <laughs> Imagine I'm the, if the nigga wasn't drinking all night and doing coke all night and gambling and shit, and he put a million dollars to his body. Yeah, we wouldn't even be <laughs> talking about that. We watched the whole episode of The Last Dance was where this nigga was We're drinking eating a pizza. Smoking. You feel me? It's like... All so, that shit's behind me now. So, so when it comes, way, Scotty ass. When it comes to Anthony Davis, the a bigger overarching question is: LeBron might have what four years at high level basketball. He could probably play for as long as he wants, but four years at this level, like legit, without getting hurt, without being yes, motivated. You think that many? That means he's gonna be forty one. I was. I was. I, I know LeBron he got different. longevity. LeBron I know different. He different, but I'm yeah, just saying, can. like four whole years of yeah. like. That, Look at him now. No matter how much you train and put, put money into your body, bro, your body is not. He leading the league and scoring shit. right Jordan now. Jordan yeah. averaged okay. twenty he's, bullshitting at forty years old. Okay, he was so, bull, with so, broke ribs. So maybe his jump shot is what gets him there. Yeah, but his jump shot ain't that, that. But that's what I'm saying. I'm just that talking about high is level high every night, bro. No, no, I'm just talking about high level high efficiency. I might not have to drive every night. My exactly. last two years yeah. in the league, I might lead the league in passing. I might lead yeah. the league in yeah. in uh He's going to get his 25-7 and 7. But that's what I'm saying. For sure. He's but what I'm saying, what I'm saying is what, what I'm saying is when he walks is Anthony Davis ready to pick up the flag and run with it for the Lakers. It's going to be the Pelicans. No. It's going to be the he Pelicans going back all home, right? over again. He no, no, no. He's going to the team is going to look like the Pelicans. I don't but, think I don't think they rocking with I don't think Genie Bus going to let that rock though. I don't think Genie Bus or any of them Palinka I don't think they I don't think they signed up for that. Whole time, nobody asked for this. I think they should package him and Russ up and get Bill or somebody. Like I think that. they should package LeBron. I and don't get, and then have a losing team. I go get. I go <laughs> get more. I go get team? Darius Garland. I go get Evan Mobley. I go get all their draft picks and send them back but to Cleveland. Why would you do that when next year he's going to be the all-time scorer? So you have that. So what? You have tickets going to be packed out for the game that he actually passes Kareem. Right. When Kareem did that on this team. Yeah. You're not getting rid of that nigga. When he passed Jordan, that shit was half empty. <laughs> but it's the Lakers. And he has a no trade clause, so that's dead. I think everything that's been happening with the Lakers, the Lakers are, and which LA is so terrified of, is they're losing their... Luster. Yeah, like everybody's not ben. looking at the Lakers as like, damn, it's the Lakers. Yeah, watch- the Lakers and the Knicks both at. <laughs> like, Y'all watching you know Winning Time? Y'all watching the, the, the story of the Lakers uh, in the 70s? I'm, 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 I'm going to binge this I'm, shit I'm this weekend. Because it's going to be four episodes on Sunday, so I'm going to binge four. Watch it and then compare it to present day. 
See what the buzz was oh, back yeah. then compared oh, yeah. to now. It's different. And then we're going to wrap it up. It's way different. Okay. It's like, it's okay. like okay. Dodgers for, you know what I'm saying, baseball. You say right. that name, that motherfuckers go. Last thing on sports, Kyrie bike. They didn't uh, lift it that. This damn bike, bro. Yeah, 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 man. Just because niggas don't like it. <laughs> hey. E-bike. Hey. It's your man. <laughs> that boy the best. Kyrie probably could be one of the best poker players in the world. Oh, bro. yeah. Oh, He's yeah. staying. Every bro, rip. He yeah. ain't doing nothing. He all ain't flipping. In. Yeah, all yeah. in. <laughs> and stay your ass in the face yeah. for, a minute, for a good 30 minutes. Oh, yeah. I'm going to come to this game with no mask on. I was like, oh, shit. I was done. I'm going to do this. I was done. You was there. <laughs> Niggas walk through the crowd like Mitch. I'm being a fool. Hell, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly, bro. Uh, bro. Yeah, so, bro. New York uh, mayor lifted the mandate of vaccinations to get into working now. Kyrie can come to home games and away games. Oh, shit. And this Rested. is just in time because Ben Simmons got a herniated disc. Rested. He going to have so much energy for the playoffs. He should. She going to have it, bro. I just hope he don't do a Kyrie and tweak his ankle. Oh, y'all got faith in Kyrie Bones? Oh, he has been rested. rested, as you said. He's rested. All I'm say, all I'm gonna say about this, so we can get to the next one, is this hit it for you right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is the perfect example of what it would look like if the season was forty games instead of eighty two, because Kyrie has only played literally half. Are you the season. preaching for that? No, 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 I'm not. Okay, okay. I'm not That's preaching for it. Oh, but what okay, I'm saying okay. is, it makes play. it box office. If I'm Kyrie, I could theoretically lead the league in scoring because every time I step on the floor, I'm going for 40 or 50. Mm -hmm. But if I'm only stepping on the court 40 games out the year, I'm essentially cutting my average in half. So if I score 60 mm -hmm. a night for 40 games, if you multiply that by two for the 82 game, I'm averaging 30 points a game. That's leading the league. <laughs> whole time, whole time. You know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah. And I'm fresh because I don't I don't gotta travel. I don't got I only play when I'm at the crib. Or yeah. I only play when I'm on the road. Yeah. All that wear and tear that you get from the traveling back and forth. Practices. He probably practicing by himself. And you think other players not seeing that shit? You think a Dame Lillard not seeing that? Or yeah. a LeBron, I can extend my career another three, four years if I don't play every game. That's all I got for that. I think I think these Playoffs are gonna be amazing. At least oh, hell yeah! You see how confidence. fucking crazy they fights ejections Nick. in the past week and a half. It's been getting lit. What? Memphis uh, clinch. So I still don't believe lit. them. I seen what happened. They're gonna be I don't interesting. Them. They're gonna be interesting. Yeah, yeah, of course. Of I think course. that that's like, but I'm still rooting for my Bulls, bro, because seven games. Like he's saying, Eastern Conference Finals. We go, we're going to see Boston at some point. That's what it is. Oh, yeah. fuck Boston. We're going to have Boston and Philly. And, 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 no, 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 no. This, this is for no, Boston, no, no, no. not you. You can't say that. You can't say that. You can't say that. Oh, because your boy been going galactic the past couple of years. I've seen him before. In January, January 17th, the Celtics were nine and a half games behind the Bulls. As of last night, they passed us. At 88, he was getting chased to his building. Yeah. I'm not trying to hit that chase. I ain't going, We had injuries. We had some some pretty big injuries that knocked us out. Caruso is honestly a great support person, baby. He is. He just if he's not in the game, you notice that he's not in the game. We got P. Will back. You waiting on Lonzo? Exactly. See what's going I on. I hope he ain't a bust. No, no, no. Bro. It's just ten days. It's just ten days. No, nah, P. Will. I'm just saying, hoping oh. that he's not a bust, bro. Like, yeah, he, yeah. He's 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 not like starting to look like it or anything like that. But I'm just saying, like, it's Vucevic. Vucevic is. Trash on defense. He well, turns. We down. knew that already. But this is the thing. Offense, though, this is like the thing, though. We, we gonna see Boston. We gonna see I Philly. Ain't, I ain't scared of we gonna see Philly. I ain't scared of Philly. What I'm, what I'm Bucks really excited Nets for is what I'm worried about. <laughs> what I'm excited for is that Milwaukee Brooklyn series. In the Heat, I want to see that. And I want to see that Phoenix Denver series if it come down. Because oh, yeah. if y'all remember last year, Phoenix beat Denver on the way to the finals, and it was one of them Andrew Bynum. J.J. Barea, oh, yeah. when Jokic <laughs> fouled out because he took Cameron Payne down. Yeah. And they ain't forgot that. You feel me? Yeah. Denver hungry. Yeah. But Phoenix, and Denver they just got Chris got Paul no, back, yeah. they on mold. They ain't yeah. took their foot I off the gas all year. They got unfinished Denver. business from Milwaukee, bro. Denver, I ain't going on Denver, bro. Yeah, Phoenix. Playoffs going to be must-see TV, for real. Yeah. 
part two of this episode will continue next week, bitches. This has been the I Ain't Going Show. You can watch us on YouTube or listen to us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, iHeart, Amazon Music, Stitcher, and Audible. Please be sure to rate, review, subscribe, and follow.